Hey guys, it's Conf College Studios here. We are back at Great Adventure for my second visit of the season. It is the 24th of March, and right there is something I actually missed on opening day. The planter out here has been now redecorated to show the 50 numbers there with all new flags. It looks fantastic. We're going to be going inside the park to see what else is new. Maybe if some extra rides opened from last weekend. As you guys saw coming in, they definitely fixed speedy parking. It was very easy to use. Pull up, stop, scan your plate, opens instantly. You ask the guy for your preferred slip and you get it and you go in. Very easy. The preferred process to get there I still think is a little weird. They definitely fixed it. They have people conducting traffic, which is much better than opening day. You walk, drive all the way around the parking lot to the very back side where the employee entrance slash exit is. So it's definitely a little weird. Gonna have to get used to it, but we'll see you guys inside the park. There's a neat backside view of Flash's construction right there. We'll get a little more a closer look once we get inside the park. We are now inside the park. First glance is looking much less crowded than last weekend. I guess we'll find out once we get to the rides, but so far so good. The slate of Looney Tunes live meet and greets is actually different today. It looks like they have Porky and Petunia Pig subbed in for Wild E. Coyote. So there's your lineup there. It looks like they do change it every day. Over here at Flash, we can actually see some workers back there. I don't know if they're just cutting through, but uh, we're gonna try to get a closer look when the sun is in, in my eyes at what, if anything, has been done since last week. Looks like there's now a new game where the Mama Flores patio used to be. Now, basketball game, come here, win one of these Mario prizes. They've really expanded the menu inside Mama Flores here. There's almost everything now on the meal plan. Mama Flores is definitely the best food location to open in the park right now. There's so many different offerings, and just about everything is on the meal plan. Over here at Deja Vu, not much has changed since opening day. The ride still isn't put together quite yet, you can see. All the cabins uh, scattered about the circle here. The arms still aren't on either, so I imagine we'll probably see this open maybe after spring break. Looks like they still have some work to do. Very different sights today compared to opening day. Really not that crowded. For those of you wondering, Fat Burger and Primo's over here by Nitro still have yet to open for the season. Well, unfortunately, Barnstormer couldn't make it open this weekend. Um, I'm not sure when it will be open. It's definitely ready to go. I imagine they just maybe need to do training on it for the employees, but no barnstormer this week looks like jersey devil is only on one train hopefully that will change in the near future but as of right now just one train on devil and it looks like nitro is also still currently on one train um not sure when the second or third trains will be added hopefully soon though doesn't look like the line's too bad though so the crew is definitely moving fast i could be mistaken but it looks like there's even more flash track now on site I think that's even a support column right there. So definitely a lot of progress with Flash. Um, not too much necessarily over at the actual site, but lots more parts here ready to go. I imagine supports will start going up very soon, but I am pretty sure that is a support for the ride. You can kind of see it has that shape at the bottom there at the base. So I'm thinking that is a support for Flash. It seems like they hold off on doing the indoor meet and greets for a couple hours until after the park has opened because they do them in front of the fountain over there for the first couple hours of operation then they switch over to looney tunes live over there probably doesn't show on the video but the fountain's water is blowing out so it's definitely a bit of a windy day here yeah. looks like they have wiley coyote in the middle of dream street for photo opportunities with guests I hear a horn. I don't know if it's Earl Toro or King the Cop. It's for one of them. He's gonna take a picture here at Wiley Coyote. That way. As we just walk down the brick pathway, there are no custom engraved bricks in quite yet. Probably have to wait until around spring break for those to start coming in, but we are gonna walk over here to see what is open. I looked on the app and it said all three of the coasters back here are closed. Zumanjaro is definitely open though, because you can see the gondolas are not up top, so it's definitely operated at some point today. Um, Toro, it's probably a little too cold for that, and same with Ka. Also not sure if Ka is actually ready to go yet. That might be a next week thing, but we're gonna go see. Well, it looks like today is our lucky day. Toro is open. It looks like it has a full train, so we're gonna try to get a few rides in on it, but here it comes. Great to see it open on such a cold day like this. And it doesn't look like it's running too slow for how cold it is either.
So I just got to ride El Toro 13 times. And another nice thing is now that this path is here and they also repainted the fence, so it kind of matches this uh, aesthetic of Plaza del Carnival. We were able to leave our stuff in the El Toro locker and go over to King de Ka, which actually opened. We got on it twice, it was running great. But Toro, I'm gonna have a more complete video coming out soon, kind of analyzing how the ride has changed in 2024. It's running a lot smoother, especially the turnaround. You really feel the difference they've made with the track work. And I got to ride it in all sorts of seats, front, back, middle, and you can pretty much ride it anywhere. The front of a car is still definitely the roughest seat, but you can easily ride the back of a car or of course a non-wheeled seat. Have a great ride. Dad, how was Toro? It was really good. I would definitely concur with your uh, analysis of riding in the front row of a car. It is a little rougher, but it's definitely better than it was last year. And how about Kaa? Kaa was great, so it was great. on the opening day vlog, the queue setup for Ka is just a little different now. So they have the ADA entrance over there and flash passes right here. So everything shifted around a little bit, but if you're going through the standby queue, pretty much does not affect you. We're also gonna go take a ride on Zoom and Jara now. They are currently running just one train on King to Ka, but I'm just happy to see it open. It looks like they're also training a lot of new employees, which is great to see. So I imagine we'll start seeing some more trains come into operation on all the coasters, probably for the start of spring break. El Toro's A train is sitting right over there. You can't really see it from here but it is sitting over there. So I imagine it should be on the track fairly soon. Medusa is also kind of open, kind of not. They had it blocked off when we first went to Toro a little earlier on, but we can hear it cycling now. They did open the path up, then they closed it again. So I'm not sure if Medusa's open. Don't know if we're gonna walk over there today, but uh, yeah, it's been kind of up and down a little bit today. Just did a ride on Zoom and Jara, which was great. Ka being open now went up as we were going up the tower. So it got a really, really good shaking ride. And it looks like Toro's still running great. Ka has been running consistently, launching trains. Um, park is really not crowded. We were able to see the parking lot well from the top of Zumanjaro, and there's really like nobody here. I think it's probably the weather because it is pretty cold out, about 40 degrees, but really, really great day so far. <laughs> right. We walked back, uh, when we walked past this earlier today, it was closed, but Fat Burger is now open. I don't think Primo's is open now, but Fat Burger is now open. And now it's time for Nitro. Looks like in the queue here, they have repainted all the supports here for this tent cover and all those supports up there as well, along with a new covering, all blue to match the new color scheme that's gonna come eventually. Looks like there are two other trains that are fully assembled in Nitro's building there, but only one is currently on the track. There's one train, there's the other train, can't tell which ones they are, that one looks like C train, this one might be B train, I don't know where D train is, unless they repainted the restraint bars for D train, um, it doesn't look like D train is anywhere to be seen here. Our station, hope you guys are having an awesome day so far, please take this time to prepare yourself to board Nitro, so if you have any loose articles, now is a good time. So I just did what might end up being my first ride of the season on Nitro, back row, right side. And it's really cool to drop down 
and all you see is just a whole mess of track for Flash sitting there. There's so much track down there. There's supports down there now too. We saw one of the spike um, supports that's really, really thick. It's a really big piece of support. There's a few other supports there too. So I imagine we'll see that go vertical very soon. I'm gonna try to get another look at it because I can't really get a picture of the supports, the way they have them positioned over there. So hopefully we'll be able to see it from Batman Station or Maybe you're able to see it in the on-ride video from Nitro because there's so many track segments there. I counted at least 30 pieces of track sitting over there, so I wouldn't be surprised at all if they have everything pretty soon. Now it's time for my first ride of the season on Batman the Ride. Like I said, hopefully we'll be able to see some of those flash supports from the exit ramp, or from the flash pass ramp for this ride, so we'll see what happens, but excited to get back on Batman. Haven't ridden it since Holiday in the Park. So we'll see you guys up there. You can just barely see the massive spike support right there. It is big. There's a few others next to it. Can't really see because of that tree there, but there's a lot of pieces of track over there. As you can see, really exciting stuff here. Just got off my first ride of the season on Batman in the back row, and that was just running great. Super fast, super smooth. Always a great ride, especially this year. Even here from Batman's exit ramp, we have a slight view of some of the flash track there. A little trickier to see from over here, but it is over there. Right here we have the first flash directional board in the whole park, right there. Right over here, across from Dark Knight by Wonder Woman. See right there, it is labeled as coming soon. It'll be like that for quite a while, but there we go. There's the first one. Cyborg is also labeled as coming soon. And then on the other side here, Flash is also there. So yeah, really cool to see that. Looks like Porky and Petunia Pig are out for their appearance over there at Looney Tune Live. It was down. Now we're gonna go for a ride on Skyscreamer to hopefully get a nice view of the whole Flash construction site. To a zipper to button pocket. That is one option for you. Just got off Skyscraper and got really great views of Flash's construction site over there. Looks like most of the footers are poured, just doesn't look like the station footers are poured, and the spike footer may not be poured either. But the stuff for the Immelman, it's kind of being done similar to how it is down here for the non-inverting dive maneuver, where there's a big pad of concrete and then the footers inside of that. So most of that is poured, but very excited to see more progress on this coaster. Before we head out for the day, we're gonna grab some ice cream here from Funnel Cake Factory. So that is is going to conclude our great day here at Great Adventure. Trip number two of 2024 was able to get on much more rides than opening day. Um, there's a couple more rides open. Of course, King Dakar has opened for the season, which is great. And it was great to get some more rides in on El Toro. Really get to see how it's running this year, and it's running great. Ka was great. Great to get on Nitro and Batman for his first time this year, and check on Flash as well. Dad, how was your day at Great Adventure? I had a great day here today. Uh, crowds were minimal. We got on Cobb, we got on Toro, we got on Nitro. It's just great to be back here. Absolutely. With that being said, guys, that's going to conclude today's video from Six Flags Great Adventure. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.